Hey guys, Brenny here with Redstone Tutorial Part 3. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a input remembering redstone circuit. So what you have to do is put a line of three red, uh, not redstone blocks, any blocks. Break out the middle one because you didn't actually need it. I just did it so I could show you guys roughly how to do it better. Put a stone on the sides that facing in and from that stone put one redstone and then connect it to the other block see how the light went off then from the other uh, torch or stone or whatever I've been calling them do the same thing and it will plug into this block now this is where you'd add your inputs on these two parts here so you could have a button from here we'll add a button so I can teach you guys crap wasn't meant to put that there now behind Where's the buttons? I have buttons. There we go. Um, put a button there. And when you push it, nothing happens yet. So, I'll have to teach you how to push it. Okay, now we'll make one this way. So that you guys can see the effect a bit better. And we'll put a button here. Now, say if we wanted a door to work with this. We'll put a door here from all right you have to connect what you want to work from each side you could also add a door here so we'll just we'll add another door here so you guys can see how they opposite around by each button okay the, all these things are really just for your ideas all right that's for that door and that's for that door all right so when i push this one that door's open and when i push this one that door's open but that door shuts so they switch positions and you could do this with I don't know I suppose step uh, those pressure plates when you're on them to get like mine carts or something to come around or whatever but yeah uh, part four will be on hiding your redstone that's gonna take a bit longer because I want to really get into it so you guys understand a hundred percent so thanks for watching bye